What's going on, y'all? So I decided to buy these two fake Rolexes off the streets of Chinatown in New York City and bring them over to Trax NYC. I decided to ask some of the employees if they could tell the difference between a real one and a fake one without telling them that both of them were actually fake. I even asked Max himself. See how this plays out. All right, which one is real, which one is fake? Imperfection is first. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here, bro! The fuck out of the diamond district! <laughs> and one of these things is not like the other. It's the song we're singing right now? Yeah, figure it out. Alright, uh, if I'm poorly said, I'm gonna have to go with my intuitions. And I'm gonna have to say. Say why. Which one is fake? Which one is real? This is fake. Which one? That one? And the, the other one's real? But then, but then, I'm like, why is this like too stiff? Like, why is it too stiff? And I can understand a bed with this, a reasonable bed. It was like foreign. But then like, all the details within itself. I don't even know what I'm talking about. You don't know what it is, bro. Are they both fake? They both gotta be fake, cause honestly, like, they have to be like, cause I'm like, right, first thing I first, first thing I noticed is the fluted bezel. Like the best like offered, like I know, like I know, like it's it's not a shot. This seemed like it was like a lacquer built. But then look, first, then also look at the stiffness of this. This has a like, worn, worn. And then I look at the sticker. So the sticker is kind of off a little bit on my end. And but then the weight that kind of like throws it off. But then when I open up the when I open up the watch and I see the serial number when I say Geneve, they're both present and it has the same. It both has the same the same mark detail. So that's like I'm like hmm. But then when I look and as it shimmers, it doesn't have a significant shimmer. It has like a, a normal bezel. Look. And then it's not ticking. Both of them is just not ticking. Final answer, these are both fake. Ah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Peter said both of them were real, 100%. <laughs> both real. You know what's not real? If it wasn't bought from Traction Watch C. So first impression of these watches. I mean, just feeling it. If it was just a watch I'm just buying, it, they're flimsy. You know what I'm saying? They, they're very light. They, you feel it. I mean, if you hold a watch, it doesn't have to be a Rolex. Any, you know, branding watch it has a feel. They, they feel a little plastic, a little light. Detailing that's on the Rolex. If you look at it closely, it's not there. Letters are all funny looking. They're different. They're placed differently. Their sizes are different. Okay, instant giveaways of why these are the fake Rolexes. Well, me dealing with these watches so many times, just by feeling the weight of them, I instantly know when I feel the bands and the weight on these bands, it's fake. But I'm gonna tell you the dead most giveaway. When I go ahead and bend this link, right? If this is 18 karat gold, why is it when I bend the link that it changes from gold to stainless steel? Immediate fake giveaway. As soon as I look at that, I know the entire watch is fake. And same with that one, right? Well, this one, no, it's not. This, this one's completely different. So this one, just by the fitting, the gaps, between this link and that case, immediately I know it's fake just off of that. So there's there's many dead giveaways, but whenever I look at a two-tone fake, I always check the inside of the link. When I see that, that color disparity, I already know that it's a fake watch. My main giveaway on a stainless steel is the gaps. That's right over there. We're doing a we're doing a which is real, which is fake test. Yeah. Shit. Can right you guys now, which one is real? I, I immediately know this is not real. Okay. Just uh, I just I just feel it. And then this, um, was this a Timex? Oh! This one might be real, but shit, not even. Well, this has no serial number, bro. This has nothing. None of them are real. Point, he actually pointed it out that, well, immediately in two seconds, as soon as I felt it, I was like, fake, <laughs> fake. But another good pointer that you mentioned is as soon as you go inside and look for the serial number, nothing. All it says Rolex, 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 clicks all the way around. That's You can't even look it up. Yeah. I would say get an original watch, even if it's a G-Shock, Seiko, Citizen that's real as opposed to a fake watch. Don't get a replica, ever. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Fake it till you make it. Do you think it's ever okay for somebody to wear a fake watch? No, not really. I mean, you know, this is a Rolex from Geneva, Switzerland. The manufacturing, the fluted bezel, the steel they use, the movement and everything like that. This is a piece of garbage. This is a piece of tin right here, you know what I'm saying? Tin, you know, garbage metals. I mean, there's nothing really even to compare. It's embarrassing to even look at it. You know, if you're going to a high school play and you're and you're you know doing that, then yeah, you could wear a fake Rolex or whatever it is. But if, but if you're in real life, 
And you and you know, if you can't afford a Rolex, then don't wear one. If somebody's buying a watch online, how can they tell it's fake? Uh, so business. it depends on who you're doing business with. If you're doing business with the wrong people, you know, you shouldn't have to look, tell if it's fake or not. I'm saying you gotta stay away from doing business with people who don't know what the hell they're doing and who you don't have a proper reputation and so on and so forth. If you're buying it from some third party and uh, you know you have to watch a video to tell if it's fake or not then you're already in uh, big trouble if you don't know what's going on you buy from reputable sources if you're an expert watch dealer yeah you can buy it off the street and you'll know what the hell is going on but if you don't then you got to be careful and there's a million gift ideas believe me come see me personally read us 64 west 47 street make sure you like and subscribe the link to tracksnyc.com is going to be in the video description stay safe and happy shopping